Hello and welcome to Air Rider. My name is Ben. Have you ever wanted a particular product that you wanted to enhance your riding experience? Well, I might just have one here for you. It's made by a company called Chigi and it's called the AO5 Lite uh, Smart Riding System. So in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at it. I'll show you the installation. We'll do um, the what's in the box as well. And of course, I'm gonna show you exactly how the system works. I'm really excited to try this out because I've been looking for something like this for a long time. And I'm glad that uh, the guys at Chiqui have actually physically made this system. There are some uh, uh, extras that you can go for, but in this video, we're just gonna be discussing the smart riding system. So enjoy the video. Well, let's look at uh, some of the features here. So first of all, I'm going to say Android Auto. One of the main features of the system, just really straightforward. If your phone's compatible with it, you just need to check the compatibility because all the phones will not work. It has to be wireless. You cannot plug it in with a USB socket. Obviously, it gives you the access to Google Maps, your, uh, your contacts as well. So if somebody's phoning you and you have your wireless headset on, you can obviously have a chat to them if you wish. You can obviously accept and decline the call on screen. You can play music. And of course, what's nice about that is you can select it on the screen itself. Previously, I had to rely on obviously having the, the phone mounted in a cradle and then just playing the music. I couldn't really select anything. So it's nice to have that option. If you want to skip forward, you can. Obviously, there are some apps that will be displayed uh, on the main screen as well that you can check out. So just in case you might have some of the bits and pieces, you can then access it through there. So for me, one of the major points for me anyway is having Android Auto and having that functionality. I'm sure you'll all probably agree it's great to have a bike that has Android Auto versus a bike that doesn't just for the compatibility with our phones, giving us access to Google Maps on screen, um, having uh, music at your fingertips and of course your contacts as well. Let's talk about the front and the rear cameras. Obviously, not only the blind spot detection through the rear, but you can obviously record front and you can obviously record your footage uh, from the rear camera and the front camera as well, which is also a major benefit. So handy if you're um, if you've got some things you like to do with your bike and you, don't, you want to utilize the cameras for recording. You can obviously do that. It records in 1080p and you can also select 720. Um, there's an SD card slot, so obviously you can put a memory card uh, into it and you can record and even download um, your footage. Also, there's an app you can also use, the Chiqui app, and then you can access it through the phone and you can download it to your phone, which I think is fantastic. And then from there, obviously, you can do whatever you like with it, including uploading it to YouTube. Another brilliant feature on the system is blind spot monitoring. Now that, you're gonna need the rear camera system for that. So obviously you've got the front and rear, but it's mainly through the rear camera where it's initialized. That obviously monitors the, um, cars that are in your blind spot. So when they're getting close, overtaking you, you'll get a visual warning on the main screen. Um, and then of course you can set a sound as well through the screen. So that is fantastic. Anything that is for motorcycle safety, uh, in my opinion, deserves five stars. And particularly that they've integrated into the system, I think it's gonna be beneficial for everybody to consider a system like this. All right, let's talk about sentry mode. This is software built into the system. What it does is if someone is uh, fiddles with your bike while it's parked somewhere, it'll start recording front and back. Now, weather obviously depends on the, the amount of lighting around. Um, so if it's too dark, obviously I presume the image quality isn't gonna be great, but it does have that capability built into it, which I think is a nice feature. Right, you've also got the option there of the digital dash. You can obviously just use it for your normal um, speedometer reading, which obviously requires the GPS connection, which the system comes with. So um, it'll give you position, it gives you compass reading as well, which way you are headed. Um, and then of course gives you the speed you're doing, which I think is really handy. So instead of looking at your analog screen, you can effectively just look at the digital screen right up front as well, which is nice. There are two options for the system, which I went for. I haven't connected them up yet. You've got tire pressure monitoring capability. So they've got the software already prepped for you. You just need to buy the external uh, tire pressure readings. There is also a remote control for the bike. Um, so I'll go into that in another video where you can obviously connect it up and you can have the controller mounted somewhere on the bike for easy access. But uh, that's a video I'll show later on. Right, it's time for us to have a look at the installation and of course what's in the box. So here we go, we'll start off with what's in the box. Okay, opening the box up, we've got a little welcome letter from Jiggy, which is quite nice. And of course we've got some a quick starters guide as well. So you obviously need an application you can download from the App Store. 
and obviously it'll go through it and there's a QR code as well. We, have, we will follow up with instructions. So, and of course, what you get in the box. Now, I'm not going to open up all the boxes inside, but it'll give you a good idea of what's in there. Inside, we've got box A and box B. One thing they do exceptionally well in directing you exactly what the contents are in, um, or in each box once you follow the instructions. So, I'm not going to open these up individually, but there's a number of wires. Uh, it's basically all wiring, effectively, and connectors. So, that's what you'll find in these two boxes here. Well, with that out of the way, let's have a look at the installation. Now, I'll, I won't go through the entire installation because it literally took me a couple of hours to do, but I'll obviously highlight the connection, um, obviously lining up the cameras, and of course, um, connecting up all the wires. So here we go. Right, I've taken all the paneling off here. Um, now let's have a look at the wiring. The standard wiring connectors that you get with the AO5 lights are these here now. You've got one that's got to connect up to something that powers up on the bike. And then two, you've got obviously a positive and a negative uh, wire. Um, and then of course it's wired into the system. Now with my bike here, it has a navigation prep with a BMW connector. So what I've done is I've sourced the BMW wiring loom and then I've just simply connected it to the uh, BMW connector. So what that does is that saves me the hassle of uh, disconnecting the battery, adding those bits on, and then on top of that, I don't actually have to splice into any wiring on the bike. Obviously with the BMWs, you can see here that the majority of the wiring is all covered up. So it's not going to be that easy to do that. And secondly, I really don't want to do that um, for obvious reasons. So. That's exactly what I've done here. So uh, wiring is very neatly kind of put through. Um, and then obviously the wiring's gonna go around to the front. That's for the rear camera system. And then we've got our screen in place here. Uh, the, I'll show you the clamp. This is an optional clamp that you can get from Chiggy. And uh, because I wanted, I didn't want the round or the, the, uh, the standard mount that you get with it because I wanted to maximize the use of this uh, bar that's on my F800 GS. Um, so that is all ready to go. And now it's just for the final prep of the wiring. Here's a look at the positioning of the rear camera. There it's nice and hidden. Uh, just that top section, I might need to adjust it slightly, but I'm very happy with that. Um, that'll make things super easy. Okay, so uh, there's where the camera is located. So I've just got it just underneath the peak here. Um, initially I had it mounted just up here, but you know, for me it was kind of too obvious there. It's a bit more discreet and hidden away. So now that the system is fully installed, now we're going to check it out and I'll show you all the features that you're going to see on the screen. So stick around, enjoy the video. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Give me a like button and if there's any comments, uh, let me know down below. Uh, but let's crack on and let's have a look at the system. Okay, as soon as you turn the bike on, that is the generic screen you're going to see. Obviously, that's before you've connected up um, your Android Auto and um, you can access the car link. So what you have here, you've got car link, your video, um, your meter. So depending on what information is displayed, I'll show you shortly. And then, of course, you can go into settings. You can check for updates and so on. Digital Speedo is here and your direction and your compass. And then if you have the option for the tire pressure monitoring, it'll also display that there, which I think is quite nice. I've already got Android Auto prepped, so let's have a look at that now. So Android Auto, we can see here the color display is nice and neat. Uh, you can adjust the brightness as well if you have to. And again, completely waterproof. We have our music app. We've got Google ready to go. And then we've got our other minor apps down at the bottom here. So we've got uh, my music, for instance, your phone and some settings that you can select. If you want to access some more apps, you can obviously do that at the bottom right here, and then you can select through. And then of course, if you want, you can simply exit back into the main screen. So connectivity is very straightforward. You've got the hard buttons here, which I think are quite nice. So in case you've got big heavy gloves and you can't necessarily access um, a particular um, section on the screen here, you do have those as well. Right, so um, now you've seen how the system works and connected up, it's now time for us to take it out on the road and we're gonna experience how the functionality is like firsthand. So I hope you enjoy this next section. We're gonna go out on the road, we're gonna see the camera work. Um, I'll show you some of the functions on screen as well, which we've already gone through, but it's good to see it in motion so you've got a better idea on how the system will work in real time. So here you go and let's get started. So, uh, the system here, and you can see the display very clear um, I have to admit um, well, the functionality is there I haven't got the tire pressure monitor connected yet 
uh, we could see our degrees there, what direction of travel we're going. Um, and then of course we've got our speed there on the left, how many kilometres we travelled and obviously we've had the ignition on a few times there so we're saying 2 hours and 12 minutes. We're going to look at so the uh, car link. If you want to we'll set Enniskillen as our destination. Hour and 9 minutes. And it says there we'll save 11% fuel as well. Must have been very clear, I've had no issues reading it. There's our cameras, so we've got our rear view there, which is in the main feature, and then also we've got kilometers per hour in the middle there, which is rather handy. And then we've got our front camera there on the left. And if you want to switch them, press that, and then you've got the front view. Uh, also, you could take a screenshot of it if you want, or a picture. There we go, we've done it. And of course, you've got the record function in the middle there. Let's look at our meter screen and see what comes up there. Okay, we don't have all the, the information handy because obviously we don't have the CAN bus connection there, but we can have a look. We can see voltage 14.1. And we've got altitude there, 53 meters above. And we've done 7.8 kilometers and we've traveled for about 10 minutes. Top middle section here tells us um, what direction to travel, northwest. And we've got the time there on the top right and of course your speed here again. What's actually quite nice is I'm just looking at, you can see there's a, there's a nice gauge here actually. As you increase speed it kind of goes up, very nice, like that. So having ridden there for about 10-15 minutes, um, it's great to see the perspective of when you're riding, uh, how everything looks. Obviously it'll be a bit more natural for me if I wasn't recording it, um, so I could obviously select certain things. So I went through the options there with the car link, the video, uh, we had a look at the meter to see what was displayed on there. And of course we've got our speedometer there, we've got direction to travel, um, haven't got the tire pressure monitors connected yet, but we pretty much saw everything work. Um, I don't think there was anything there that uh, we didn't do. So that is our rear camera, that's the front camera, you'll see part of the um, front um, front fin there exposed, so that's not too bad. To change the camera view, let's go there, so there's the front and there is the rear. And obviously that's just the top there, it's hiding underneath the, uh, the top case. So that's all we need to do really, and then of course if you wanted to, you can still have the rear view camera um, exposed there as a um, so obviously you don't have to look behind you you can obviously see what comes up which I think that's quite a nice feature indeed all right let's move on to my final thoughts um, obviously having installed it put it in shown you the features taken out on the road I must admit I'm very very impressed um, seamless connect, uh, connectivity very straightforward um, when you want to select something there's no you know you don't have to wait two seconds like the processing power of the system is really good build quality really really good i mean they've really you know pushed the uh, the envelope there um the the system is very solid it's waterproof and dustproof as well so you don't necessarily have to worry about having your phone out anymore again a bit of foresight there good job uh Chigi. um the applications in there the features the android auto capability the carplay again fantastic the two cameras integration with the blind spot detection system guys like i mean there is uh, i haven't come across a system like this before and you know maybe there will be in the near future but at the time of this video there isn't so i mean for the price of the unit definitely check it out it'll definitely bring your old bike definitely to the present age in relation to technology um so definitely something worth considering the the applications are really good uh, i thought the gps compass was nice it was nice to see that working the meter reading to kind of see how the rev counter worked the digital display very clear very straightforward uh, large buttons you know if you've got big heavy gloves you know it's easy enough they've pulled that through so good job on you guys there but congratulations um for chigi launching this ao5 product i i definitely like it it's something i'm going to be using for a very long time and um it's something i hope you guys would consider so check the description for more information check their website decide if it's the right system for you um but again do your own research see if it's worth spending that money but looking at the features you get in the system it's really good it's not just 
you know, sat nav or Android Auto connection, but it does offer so much more, and they've really thought that through. And we'll discuss the uh, the ex the the two optional extras as well later in an, in another video. So, thanks very much. Um, I hope I've given you enough uh, information there, and hopefully it's worth checking out. That's all uh, for now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. So take care and ride safe.